Just a day before Cedar Point opens, elected leaders are demanding action from the park in the wake of a joint investigation by 10 investigates in our sister stations in Toledo and Cleveland. 10 investigates found 27 reported sexual assaults tied to the employee dorms and women who say they feel let down by the amusement park's response. Here's Chief Investigative Reporter Bennett Haberly. Bennett? Andrew and Yolanda, the governor, Ohio's attorney general, and members of Congress are calling the allegations we uncovered disturbing. Tonight, they're offering assistance in demanding that Cedar Point investigate and enact change. Over the past five years, 27 reported sexual assaults. Claims from women who say they were victimized while working here, inside employee dorms at Cedar Point. On Friday, State Representative Lisa Sobecki sent this letter to Cedar Point's CEO. She urged the theme park to investigate. She wrote that the allegations are deeply troubling and have revealed an unacceptable pattern. At a rally in Southern Ohio Friday, Senator Sherrod Brown told us this. Yeah, I, Cedar Point's got a lot to answer to, and they've got to fix this. And when you bring in young people from all over the world, is my understanding, not just all over the country, and you're not, and they're, you know, they're, they're 18, 19, 20 years old, they're temporary workers, um, you've got to be careful about how you manage those kids when they're not at work. And too many, there's been, there have been accusations of too many awful things, and Cedar Point's got to answer to that and they got to fix it. I'm like a heavy sleeper, like I don't, I don't wake up to alarm clocks, I don't wake up to anything. And um, I woke up to him inside of me and I pushed him away and I just got up and I just left and I didn't know what to do. Women who have come forward told us they felt let down by the theme park's lack of response and resources after they say they were sexually assaulted by male colleagues. What, what other su support or services did Cedar Point give you once you, they became aware that you were sexually assaulted? None. Other than that, nothing. They just didn't care. Or at least it comes across that way. They, they did nothing to help me in any way. Governor DeWine, Attorney General Dave Yost, and Nan Whaley, the Democratic gubernatorial candidate, both expressed concern and offered assistance. You can read their full statements at 10tv.com, and our reporting on this is not over. We are starting to hear from others who have expressed similar experiences while working in the park. We reached up again to Cedar Point, urging them to sit down with us or respond to our reporting. We have not yet heard back. Andrew. Bennett, thank you. Our 10 Investigates team wants to get answers for you. You can email us at 10investigates at 10tv.com with a story to investigate.